Hey, how's it going? Throughout the year, we use various tools. Tools get sent to us, we buy new things, and we learn you know, what we like and what we don't like. So when we get to the end of the year, we like to put together a list of our favorite tools or things that we found throughout the year and share it with you, especially when it's right before Christmas, because this is a great video to send to your significant other, your wife, your husband, your aunt, your grandma, your brother, your sister, that guy at the office that always buys people gifts, but he buys you something horrible, like a stocking cap that says, go football on it? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna break down our favorite stuff in this video. There's links in the description. Follow along, check it out. Let's do it. One thing I always love to have in the shop is a good knife. It's just handy to have on you. You flip it open, you can cut tape, scrape things. Now, at first I thought it'd be really cool to have a big old knife strapped to my belt. And then I realized that's not very practical. It's heavy, it's too big. So then I got on Amazon and I bought a six pack of these things. They flip out, I was like, that's cool. I mean, it was like $26 for a six pack. The problem is they break really easy and the blade never stays sharp. So I got rid of those and then I tried to upgrade a little bit and I got one of these. This is a bare edge knife. They're made in the US, it's not too bad. But again, I wasn't happy with the steel on this. It kept getting dull, I was constantly sharpening it. So then I upgraded to Benchmade. Now I'm in no way sponsored by Benchmade and these knives are kind of expensive if you ask me. But after spending a lot on one, I realized why they're so expensive. Now I have two different ones here. This is the CLA Auto, which means it auto flips out. I love this knife. This is the one I have on me every day in the shop. But I understand that the flip out knives or switch blades, they're not legal in all 50 states. I know California, they're a no-no. But they make a lot of non-auto knives that you just, you know, manually flip out. So there's plenty of options. The reason I really like this knife is it's high quality steel. It keeps a very sharp blade and it's got this locking mechanism right here versus the old like lock that's inside here. The reason I don't like the locks on the inside is because if you twist the knife, you can disengage that lock and it'll close on you. But these have the switch lock right here. So you can lock that in place. It's not going to go anywhere. You can really cut and move and jab and then unlock it pull it back in. So if you're looking for a great knife to keep on your person in the shop, check out Benchmade. Love them. And their logo, even though it's a butterfly, I like to pretend that it's a moth. This next one is so simple, but it might be my favorite thing that I've recently discovered. And it's one of those things that after I figured it out, I was like, why the heck did I not think of this earlier? Tape sticks things together. No, I'm just kidding, it's not tape. Although, fun fact, when I was a kid, my favorite Christmas present when I was little is my parents would just give me a roll of tape and I'd stick it all over everything and... Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Tape is both a love and hate relationship with me because I love to use it, especially double-sided tape, but I hate trying to figure out where the end starts and getting it unpeeled and you never know and you can't tell and then you finally get it and it's hard to cut. So, I had an idea tape dispensers. I mean, seriously, why did I not think of this before? Maybe you've thought of it. Maybe I'm the only one that hasn't bought myself a giant tape dispenser for the wood shop, especially for the double-sided tape. Sometimes you just need a little piece and cutting it off and getting a little thing is hard. But this, you just pull it out, get a little piece and you got it. It does come with this little safety thing, which I don't like because that gets in the way, but break that off or fold it down. And the other cool thing about this, on the bottom, suction cups. So. You can stick it down and it won't move. So you can pull out your tape with these, cut it off. Pretty cool. You can get one for your big stuff and you can get one for your little stuff. And then if you need a little tape or you need a lot of tape, it doesn't matter. And you can just cut it super easy. You're not messing around with a knife and all that. Now this pencil, I have seen all over the internet. If you're on YouTube at all in the woodworking realm, you've probably seen somebody talking about this pencil or you've seen it tucked in their shirt to the point that I got really sick of it and I refused to buy it. I thought, that's stupid. Everyone's trying to hawk these pencils. I'm not gonna be one of those people. 
And then somebody gave me one of these pencils and I'm one to admit when I'm wrong, it's pretty darn cool. All right, I thought a pencil was a pencil. I've always used mechanical pencils, but you know, sometimes the lead breaks and it's annoying. This thing is really sweet. It comes in this little holder that you can hook in your tool belt or on your shirt. You pull this out and you've got a nice sharp piece of lead. Now it's a long piece of lead, so you can push the end and it keeps going and going so it lasts a long time. And if it gets dull on the tip of this little holder is a miniature little pencil sharpener. So you can keep that lead nice and sharp. Because the graphite, not lead, is so thick, it's not brittle, it doesn't break as easy. So it's really easy to keep a nice sharp line and they're inexpensive. So as much as I hate to admit it, this pencil is pretty darn cool and it's one of my favorite things I discovered this year. Yes, I'm that guy, but seriously, go buy one. You won't regret it. Now, it wouldn't be a Bourbon Moth gift guide if I didn't share some whiskey recommendations with you. Ooh, alcohol, my favorite. Nope, nope, N not this year. Oh yeah? Well, you're f green and she's sm yellow All the hippopotamus and they go out on the and, and they beneath the corn cobs. So, these are the number one thing America. Throughout the year, I'm always trying different whiskeys, and I try and put together a list of at least three that I can recommend for good gifts. And here they are, and I've got a variety of different price ranges. So the first one is the Michter's Toasted Barrel Finish Sour Mash. Now this is our most expensive bottle. It's a little harder to find, although if you do a Google search, there's plenty of places online that you can order it. Expect to pay around $200 to $250 a bottle for this one, but you won't regret it. It is delicious, and if you have a whiskey lover in your life, they will love this one too. Next, we have the Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength. Now, if you know anything about whiskey, when it comes out of the cask, it's usually mixed with water, and that lowers the alcohol content and makes it a little bit easier to drink. Unless you get a barrel strength whiskey, which is just right out of the cask, no water added, and some people prefer it. They're usually a little bit more expensive because you get less volume per barrel. Anyways, the Four Roses Single Barrel, it's around $100 to $150 a bottle, depending on where you get it. You can usually find it at your local liquor store, but it is delicious. I've always been a Four Roses fan, and this one is a really good buy. And then on the lower end is the Stranahan's Sherry Cask Whiskey. Now, I've had a lot of Stranahan's, and this one is probably one of my favorites. It's only around $70 to $80 a bottle, but it's got a really crisp, clean taste that's not harsh on the back end of your palate and it's just easy to drink. I like it with soda, I like it with water, I like it straight over ice. There's no wrong way to drink this and it's affordable. So if you're looking for a good bottle of whiskey for somebody in your life, either one of these is great. Can't go wrong. Well, I guess he's not getting a Christmas bonus now. This is another one of those that seems kind of stupid, but honestly, I absolutely love this one. Believe it or not, I use acetone quite a bit in my shop. It's really good for cleaning up glue, epoxy, you know, you get it on your fingers, you get a little acetone, it comes right off. Acetone's what they use to clean nail polish off, so if you do your nails a lot, you might use it to get that off. Anyways, what I've always done is I just keep a big jug of acetone in the shop and you gotta unscrew the child safety cap and that can be a pain because I don't quite know how they work. And then you gotta dump it out on a rag and it always spills all over the place. But this summer I was out at Total Boats headquarters and I saw this thing sitting on their workbench. And I was like, what is that? And if you push on it, the reservoir is filled with acetone and there's a pump. It's completely sealed until you push on it. But then it sends acetone up to the top. You can get a little bit on your rag and then you can wipe it up and you're not dealing with this giant bottle. Super easy. Just set it on your workbench and you're good to go. And you can use other things besides acetone. You could put paint thinner in here, lacquer thinner, whatever you use, mineral spirits if you're cleaning off tabletops. Just an easy dispenser. And you can put ketchup in here, just set your hot dog, push it up and down. Maybe some barbecue sauce with a chicken breast, A1 steak sauce, you know, a nice little tri-tip. The options are endless.
So, pretty cool little dealio. These are my NYX handmade boots. And when I say handmade, I literally mean these were handmade to fit my feet. It's actually a crazy process you go through. They take all your measurements, you go back and forth. They're sending you these sizing charts and you send them back. You have a phone consultation. And what you end up with is the most comfortable pair of boots you're ever gonna have. The problem is I don't wear these that often because I'm extremely lazy and I hate taking the time to sit down and lace them up when I'm running in and out of the house from the shop. I gotta go and get something to eat. I don't wanna take them off. So they sit in my drawer more often than not. That was until NYX just came out with these. It's a slip-on Chelsea version of their boots. So you get the same great comfort, the custom fit to your foot, but there's no laces. You just stick your foot in there and pull them up and slip them on. Works pretty good. Christmas time. It's about family, fun, giving gifts, and life insurance. It's probably not what you're actually thinking when it comes to Christmas time. But for me, Christmas really does make you stop and think about family. And the question I always have is, what if something were to happen to me? What if the worst happened? I don't like to go there, but sometimes you have to think ahead. Is my family going to be protected? Well, my family is because I actually have a really good life insurance policy that I was able to find on policygenius.com. Now, if you think life insurance is hard to get, it's really not because Policy Genius makes it incredibly simple. If you don't believe me, just watch this. Policy Genius knows how valuable your time is. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers in just a few clicks to find your lowest price. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for $1 million of coverage. Some options offer same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Their licensed award-winning agents can help you find the best fit for your needs. They work for you, not the insurance company. So that means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another. So you can trust their guidance. It's no wonder they have thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. Do you guys realize you can buy furniture already made? <laughs> Life-changing. Now, you're probably wondering, all right, all that information is great. Where do I go? How do I sign up? What do I do? Well, that part's really easy. You just go right here. Your family deserves peace of mind, and a life insurance policy through Policy Genius can give it to them. Head to policygenius.com slash bourbon moth or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. Every year, one thing we love to recommend is a good book that you can add to your arsenal in the wood shop. And this year, we're choosing The Why and How of Woodworking by Mike Pekovich. Now, this book is primarily about hand tools, traditional joinery, all the things I don't do. Which is why I'm so excited to go through this book because it's something I would really like to learn more about. And it talks about it all. Everything between, you know, what hand tools you should have to build what furniture, cabinet construction in a traditional form, how to sharpen your hand plane blades, all that stuff. I mean, I haven't actually read it yet, but just flipping through it real quick, those are the types of things I saw, but I'm gonna read it, I promise. All in all, I talked to a lot of people and this book was highly recommended. So get yourself a copy of this and maybe we'll do a little book club. We'll like go through it together and we'll meet once a week and we can share what we learned that week. Maybe one week I'll bring popcorn and you bring banana bread and we can cozy up on the couch and it can be a whole thing, you know? Maybe there's a movie, that might be easier. No, I'm gonna read it, I will. Now, oh man, and sometimes as men, it's hard to admit that we need to take care of ourselves. We wanna be all tough and burly. Maybe if you're not a man, woman, dog, cat, I don't know. In the winter time, you might suffer from the same ailment that I suffer from, and that is dry hands. I don't know why, but winter comes around and my hands dry out, especially when I'm working in the shop, if I'm washing them to get like stuff off of them and drying them and washing them and drying them, I'm sanding, and they start to crack. And for a long time, I've tried to search for something that can help this and nothing has worked until I found one product that actually works great. O'Keefe's 
working hands. I actually picked this up in line when I was at Home Depot and I was like, whatever, I'll try it. I've tried everything else. And it literally works amazingly to the point that like if you have cracked hands, I'm not joking, you put it on your hands like when you go to bed at night and in the morning it almost seems like they're completely better. I don't know how this stuff works. It's got some magic voodoo in it, but for cracked and dry hands, I, it's the only thing I found that works. No, I'm not sponsored. I'm just telling you, if you got dry hands, this works. And also, and also, also, they have healthy feet. So if you have the same problem, but on your toesies, this one works too. Hey, did you know that we're on Cameo? So if you would like to get a Cameo of me playing the tin whistle for somebody special, you can do that. Now this is one that I get asked about all the time because I use it sometime in videos and it's actually a really cool thing. So everyone's like, hey, where do I get that? Can I get myself one? And that is my branding iron. I had this custom made with my logo and it's a great way to brand your pieces of furniture, drawer boxes, your little brother with your logo so that everybody knows who made what or who's older than who. So the way it works is some of them are not electric. Get an electric one, it's way better because you can just plug it in and it heats up. Some of them you gotta heat up with a blowtorch and get it really hot and you never know how hot it is and you try and press it and it's way harder. Get an electric one. So you plug it in, it gets hot and then all you have to do is press it. It's really that easy. And let me give you a little piece of advice because this is one of my biggest pet peeves. I see it all the time. People have this nice, fancy, finished piece of furniture and it's branded and it's got this like halo around the brand where the heat kind of escaped and it changes the color of the wood and it just doesn't look clean. So after you brand your piece, before you finish, just take a little sanding block, takes two seconds and just give it a quick little sanding. Now, I didn't press with even pressure, so the U and the R are a little messed up there, but you can see it gets rid of that halo and it looks much, much cleaner. So, branding iron is a great gift for yourself or somebody else. I'll put a link in the video description where you can get your own branding iron customized to whatever you want it to say. Maybe like, stop stealing my toys, Kevin. Brand it right on his shoulder. Let's say you're in the shop and you want to have yourself a gin and tonic, but you don't have limes. What are you going to do? You're not going to stop working and go out and buy yourself a fresh lime. That's just crazy. So don't you wish there was a way that you could have fresh lime in your shop year round and you don't have to worry about it going bad? Well, now you can. True lime. Now I first discovered this when I was on an airplane and I asked for a lime in my drink. And I expected them to say, we don't have limes, but they brought me this. And I was skeptical until I tore open that packaging and I poured it in my drink. I mixed it up. Oh, that's all powder. <clears throat> and it tasted exactly, and I'm not exaggerating, exactly like real lime. Because it is real lime, it's just dehydrated. So I got on Amazon, I bought a case of 500 packets, and I've been slowly going through them. And they also have true grapefruit and true lemon for all your beverage needs. Ugh! Still powder. Now up until this point, every single product we have recommended has been completely just unbiased. I'm not sponsored by those companies. I genuinely love those products. And this is no different, but I am sponsored by the following companies. So I wanna be completely upfront with you but know that we only take sponsorships from companies that we actually love their products. So I still consider this to be unbiased. We genuinely love these products. So, Festool. A lot of people ask if I was to buy one sander, what sander would that be? And that would be the Festool ETS EC150. This bad boy right here. It is my favorite sander that Festool makes. A lot of people buy the ETS-125 because it's the cheapest sander Festool makes. And you can throw that thing in the garbage. Don't tell Festool. I don't like that sander, but the ETS-EC-150 is money. 
It's more powerful. It's great for finish sanding. It gives no swirl marks if you do it right. So that's a good buy. Let's talk about bits and bits. Now, bits and bits are my favorite router bits because they take white side bits, which are already great router bits, and then they astrocoat them with their own special sauce that makes them last longer, stay sharper, and the speed and feed rate is better. And bits and bits just upgraded their Astra coating to their new Astra HP, which is supposed to be even better. It's brand new on their website. We have a coupon code in the video description so you can get 10% off everything on their website. And bits and bits is a fully functional Fest tool dealer. So you can go get some bits and you can also get yourself that new sander. But I should say the coupon code doesn't work for the Fest tool stuff, just the bits. Isotunes. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with Isotunes. I love their product. It's all I use for hearing protection. But the hate part is they constantly tell me I wear them upside down. But I don't care. I'm gonna wear them upside down until the day I die. They're running a really cool special right now where if you buy a pair of their free 2.0s, you get a free pair of the Freeze. Buy a pair of the Freeze, get a free pair of the Freeze, but the 2.0 and then the regular freeze. That's actually a really good deal. It's two for the price of one, basically. So there's a link in the video description. Go down there, click the link, get yourself some sweet hearing protection. And if you do this right, you get a free pair and then you give away the other pair as a gift. So it's basically like you give a gift and you get something for yourself, which are the best gifts out there. Total Boat. You wouldn't think I'd be sponsored by an epoxy company because I hate epoxy. River tables are the ugliest thing on this planet, hands down. Well, there was that one kid in middle school that used to make fun of me. He was a bully and he was very ugly. River tables are still uglier. But I love Total Boat Fixo. You probably see me use it all the time and it's great. It comes in a squeeze tube. You use like a caulking gun. It's got the special tip so it mixes right in the tip and it's crazy strong. It's really good for outdoor furniture, for boat building, all that. And the Fast Cure cures really fast. You don't have to wait as long as you have to wait for regular epoxy. Link in the video description and you get a discount on that as well. And then finally, one of our newest sponsors is 3M. I recently made the switch to 3M Cubitron sandpaper because I've just found it's the best sandpaper on the market. And after making the switch, I reached out to 3M and I said, hey, I love your sandpaper. Any chance we can work together? And they were thrilled. So we are now sponsored by 3M. There's a link in the video description. If you haven't tried the Cubitron, it is, well, it's just the best sandpaper out there. The Cubitron 2 is awesome. The Cubitron Extract is probably my favorite. It's a little more expensive, but when you buy it, you're gonna realize that it lasts way longer than any other sandpaper on the market. So yes, it's more expensive, but you don't have to buy it as often. I keep thinking, should I change this pad? It seems like it's been on there forever, but it's still working great. So I don't know how they're gonna stay in business. Anyways, all these links are in the video description. Check them out. We absolutely love these products and a lot of them have coupon codes. So you get a special little discount. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff. Now, if your significant other says, I never know what to get you for Christmas, you forward this video as fast as you possibly can because I feel like I threw down some pretty good gift ideas there. I stand behind every single one of these products. We use them every day in the shop. We're constantly testing them, making sure they're great and you know, implementing them where we can. So check the video descriptions for links to all of this. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments and we'll try and answer them. Until next Christmas, goodbye. Hey, hey. No. Hey, those are all stupid gifts. You shut up.